afraid of? What, how does your group ail? She ails as she does. She never rates this one. And yet her eyes open and she walks. Hears not, sees not, does not eat. Her soul is taken, surely. They say you suffer Reverend Hale of Beverly? Uh, a precaution only. He has much experience in all demonic arts, and I thought. Indeed he has. He caught a witch in Beverly last year, but you remember that. Now, goody man, they only thought there were a witch. And I assure you, there be no element of witchcraft here. D no witchcraft? Now look you, Mr. Thomas. Barry. Thomas, I pray if you leap not to witchcraft, I know that you, you least of all, Thomas, would ever wish such dashes of charge laid upon me. But you cannot leap to witchcraft. They will help me out of sale for such a charge in my house. <coughs> Mr. <coughs> I have taken part in all of contention here, and I would continue, but I cannot if you hold back in this. There are hurtful, vengeful spirits laying hands on these children. But Thomas, you cannot. And tell Mr. Paris what you've done. Reverend Paris, I have laid seven babies unbaptized in this earth. And believe me, sir, you can never see more hardy babies born. And yet these would wither in my arms the very night of their birth. I've spoken nothing but my heart has clamored in patience. And now this year, my birth, my only, I see her turning strange. I see her child check to come this year. And it's as though there's a sucking mouth pulling off her life, too. So I thought to send her to your tuba. To, to the tuba? What makes tuba? The tuba knows how to conquer the dead in Goody, it is a horrible sin to conjure the dead. I take it on my soul. But who else may tell me who murdered my baby? Woman! They were murdered, Mr. Paris, and mark this proof. Mark it. For my roof, we were so close to their little spirits last night. I'm sure of it, Mr. Paris. For how else would she be struck down with not some power of darkness to stop her mouth? It is a marvelous sign, Mr. Paris. Don't you understand it, sir? There is a murdering <coughs> witch among us, bound to keep herself in the dark. Let your enemies make it what they will. You can blink it no more. Then you were conjuring spirits last night. Not I, sir. To two and three. Oh, Abigail, what proper payment for my charity? Now I'm undone. You are not undone. Let you take hold here. Wait for no one to charge you. Declare it yourself. You've discovered what In you my are. house? In my house, Thomas? They'll rule me with it. They will make of it a... Your pardon. I only thought to see how Betty is. Why aren't you home? Who's with Ruth? Her grandmother comes. She's improved a little, I think. She gave a powerful no need to fear being put down. It were Grant's knees. Another one like it will shake her wits together, I'm sure. Would you leave me now, Thomas? Just pay a while alone. Uncle, you pray since midnight. Why do you not go down? No, no, I have no answer for that crowd. I will wait till Reverend Hale arrives. You will, good Anne. Now look, you, sir. Let you strike out again to the devil. And the village will bless you for it. Come down, speak to them, pray with them. If they're thirsting for your word, minister, surely you'll pray with them. I will leave them as song. But let you speak nothing of witchcraft. Cause yet I know I've had enough.